There are many myths in the fountain pen realm, told around the dark corners of the internet. Today, I will share some of these tales with you and look to debunk fountain pen myths. Some say that they are old, outdated, antiques, irrelevant. I disagree. Some even question whether a fountain pen has a feather. It doesn't. That's a quill. There is a vibrant online community of fountain pen enthusiasts all over the world that are enjoying these pens every single day. There are manufacturers that have been around for decades, if not hundreds of years, that are still growing and thriving even today. Handwriting has been around since the existence of humanity. And it's not going away just because technology has come to the forefront in the last couple of decades. Handwriting will change but it is not obsolete. The idea is prevalent that fountain pens are pretentious, snobby, elitist, that the only people using them are those who want to look fancy. Do I look fancy to you? Well, I'm not fancy and I use them. There are people everywhere using fountain pens. Students, civil servants, wax museum curators. You never know who could be using pens. Fountain pens can be expensive, but so can jeans or a purse. Fountain pens, like anything else, can be as expensive as you want to be, but you only need a couple of dollars to get started. It's commonly believed that fountain pens are high maintenance, complicated, and that they're just ink bombs inside your pocket ready to explode at any time. Fountain pens are writing instruments, so they're tools. A little bit of education is needed, but there's a thriving online community with videos just like these, where you can learn the basics and it's not as scary as it seems. Speaking of scary things, lots of people think that fountain pen nibs are sharp and like little razors that are harmful and dangerous and may get confiscated by TSA or Customs if you ever travel anywhere picture themselves getting patted down and thrown into some kind of airport prison just because they have a pen on them. This is definitely not the case. Fountain pens are not really any sharper than any other pen. They just kind of look like they are. To continue on our path, a lot of people feel that fountain pens are only for right-handed users. That if you are a lefty, you're somehow an outsider, an outcast. Not to enjoy the pleasures of writing with fountain pens. This is not the case. There are some additional considerations to be taken for techniques for left-handed users, but with some thoughtfulness, you can enjoy them every bit as much as righties. Another surprisingly common myth is that fountain pens will conform to your individual writing style. And that if you loan your pen to someone else, even to sign their name, it can ruin years of a relationship that you've built with that pen. This is ridiculous. You're not writing with a flower petal. These are hardened metals that can really hold up with a lot of writing use. Loaning it to a friend to write a few words is not going to hurt your pen. 
Unless someone really abuses that nib, it's going to be just fine. Normal writing by multiple people with the same pen. The pen can take it. And the last and final myth about fountain pens is that somehow you have to be some master calligrapher or hand lettering professional on Instagram to be able to properly use a fountain pen. That if you aren't writing in cursive that you're somehow not living up to the standards that are beholden to using a fountain pen. I say if you want to write in whatever type of chicken scratch that you may have, you do you and just enjoy that pen. Myths debunked.